So guys, uh, an update on the wiring side of things. Um, I was sort of getting bogged down when we were last, we were last kind of did a video um, on it. Um, but I've, I've sort of gotten a little bit further on down the road and I think I've got a good picture in my mind. So if you were just doing a standard um, engine swap, you could probably just, if you're going into a diesel, car this is probably not going to be uh, as big a deal but if you're going to a petrol car you won't have these units in place and you might want them um, so this is your this is your glow plug um, relay box here and inside of that I'll just take the cap off it so you can see what you're getting so uh, that is your always on power so that's always live then you have this plug here, which goes um, through your firewall and towards your um, your binnacle or your, your cluster. And then this here is just uh, six wires, as in it has the six glow plugs. So if it was a, I presume if it was a 605, it would have five glow plugs. So each one of each one of them is um inside of that is a is a glow plug um so anyway on this one here this is the kind of one that you'd need to wire in yourself uh, and then sorry we also have one other thing we have a temp sensor here so the temp sensor runs alongside of this and is actually fed off this this temp sensor there's two temp sensors in the block but it's fed off that one um, and that has um so there's provisions in this for temperature sensor, but I presume that it's also because this this wiring goes to the binnacle. That's also feeding the cluster um, with its information. So you have obviously you've got I just uh, cut off some plugs here, but you have the ignition and everything like that. And the wiring inside of it is you've got a black wire, which is is the light for the dash that basically the glow plug light. You have a 31, which is the brown wire, which is ground. Brown is always ground in the Merck system. Um, we have the white wire here, which is the temp sensor. So that's directly linked to that temp sensor on the uh, on it there. Then we have um, fuse box over voltage. That one there. And then the only other wire is ignition on. So that's number 50, ignition on. So that's okay. That system's fairly simple, actually, when you, when you start pulling away everything else it doesn't need. So um, that's one thing. So now the next system, this is very optional. I think it's a good idea to have it. It's, it's called the ELR system. And um, it basically what it does is it controls the idle speed for load being applied. Um, and if you were to, if you were had it in a already diesel system, you'd be going through an ECU that would also make adjustments based upon it. But essentially, what it does is it controls controls the idle. If you turn on the air conditioner, the um, it would compensate for that um, with a vacuum on the back of the pump, um, or it would on a cold day it would also compensate for the for the lower uh, RPM. So essentially. You'll all have seen this, which is the on the back of the pump. Let me see if I can pull this out. You can have a little bit better look. On the back of the pump, you have these two systems here. That's your ELR. Um, actually, that connector is called a Y22 or Y22 connector. And essentially, it um, it's an electronic vacuum system, and it, it basically raises and, and lowers the um, the idle to. Till, the, till it suits essentially. So that's your module, ELR module, and that's the, the matching plug. And essentially what, it's, what it takes into account is um, it has the, two, the feed here that goes directly, these two wires here. So you've got a, a brown and blue and a red and blue. And those are going to the ELR um, plug. So the Y22 plug at the back of the diesel pump. Then at, after that, you have 
you have on the same system as the ELRs or the Y22 feed, you have another red and blue which goes to the over voltage um, relay that, that's by the computer or by the battery. Um, I think the relay might be called the K1, but I might not be right about that, so don't uh, don't quote me on that. Um, and then after that, what have we got? We have the other other things the system needs is it needs a temperature input. So we have we have this system here, this wire here, which is a red and green, and that essentially goes to a secondary a second temperature um, sensor that's right beside the other one for the relay um, and it's a four pin it's a four pin connector one of which is your ELR system the other one I've cut short here that's an EGR that's for the EGR so you don't really need that and then we have um, then we have the uh, brown and white and brown so your brown is your ground brown and white must be your ground at a set temperature so as the thermostat the internal thermostat kicks it grounds itself out um, presumably now somebody might correct me on that but that's essentially what the system is doing um, and then the other parts of this this ELR plug you have your ground you have a um, you have a brown and yellow and a white now that is your speed sensor and RPM so that is your flywheel sensor here um, so essentially that's fed from in front of your fuse board has a, it's fixed to the side of a bracket like this and that fits in like that those two wires as you can see are your brown and white that come straight from the ELR plug and um, so that's everything so far now what what most people do I believe and I might be corrected upon this as well I believe most people get rid of the ELR system or don't bother trying to wire it in and they essentially run the fly, the flywheel um, speed sensor straight to the um, binnacle and get their RPM reading. But what the RPM or TD signal, um, I don't know what TD part stands for, is actually coming off this um, ELR is actually the green and yellow wire you can see here. So it's just a one wire. It's fe it feeds into a few different places. It feeds into um, into a few different areas, but essentially it just all comes back to the EDC um, pump control, which you know, on these is the unit back there. Um, but I think it's essentially it's a dumb system. It's not very smart. So I think that essentially it's a relay for. It's a relay going through going through the system and it basically just sends on this, the speed sensor. And as this picks up its signal from the speed sensor, it makes adjustments and and basically your, your revs will match. So I think that's just going to be a, um, a pulse uh, line. So I can actually just use that one wire straight off this to my binnacle and uh, my cluster and I should get an RPM reading on the dash from that. So it's a bit, a bit uh, long-winded, a bit of a bit of a faff, but I think the ELR system will serve serve me well for a daily driver. As in, I want to be able to go to France in the middle of summer. I want to be able to go out on a icy morning, and I want it all to be reliable. Um, so I think I do need that ELR system for that. I'm not going to try. I'm not going to bother with the EGR like. There's so much EGR, like that's EGR related. That's the control unit for the EGR. There's also a diagnostic plug that would be connected to that ELR plug as well. I don't need a diagnostic thing. Um, so yeah, bit of a long-winded thing, guys. I haven't seen much online about this ELR system. Uh, so it was a lot of work trying to find out all that information. I was getting all the kind of uh, different breakdowns of it, of it and everything like that um, but hopefully because there wasn't that much online uh, hopefully you guys will see the video and you'll be able to um, you'll be able to figure out a use for it then in that way you know it'll make things a lot easier because I found it very difficult to find out this information but hopefully that'll make it a lot easier so essentially that's your um, 
overview of the plug. We have Y22 uh, pump, diesel pump um, connection. We have your speed sensor. We have that one there goes to your over voltage power supply. Uh, you have your ground curled up there. We have the middle green one, yellow one there is the um, is the RPM pulse. And uh, we have what else? And then this one goes the whole way over to this temp sensor. I'll just show you quickly where this um, these temp sensors go. So this one, it's relevant because you can pick either one. But there seems to be just two two points beside each other. So that one was in there. The relay, or sorry, so that one was in there for that. The glow plug relay one was there, and I believe the glow plug relay one is the one that's going to feed your um, your uh, dash cluster. But again, I might be wrong about that. But that's preliminary. That's what I think. It's uh, I say it is just um, temp sensors. So, but anyway, there you go. There's it all kind of cleaned up and everything. Um, I will obviously have to put. Uh, put these back in but the wiring is actually breaking down on this so you can see here so i am actually going to have to rebuild all this wiring as well um but anyway that's a simple enough system when you actually see how it works but it's very hard to get into that information because it's all you it's used in different um kind of jargon that people would know that are into electrics but if you're not into electrics you wouldn't know it so it is difficult to figure it out at first um, but when it's all laid out like that, it's sort of very simple. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I know it was a long video, um, but uh, I just thought that ELR system is very kind of uh, unreported, and I think it'll be quite useful. So um, hopefully that that'll somebody will find this useful. Thanks. Bye.